Gemini, welcome into you into your what you do not see coming tarot reading. This is going to be a timeless reading. So whenever you receive this reading, you are meant to get it at that time. This reading is going to be looking at events that are going to be unfolding for you. I always ask Spirit Guide to show me a couple of weeks. I don't like to go into months on these readings. So whenever you get it, whatever time of the year it is, whatever year it is for you, in a couple of weeks from now, this is what you can expect to see, what you don't currently see coming. So let's call in your spirit guides. Spirit guides for my Geminis out there, please come into my spirit room. Guide me in this reading, please. Show me clearly what it is I need to see. And speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. For the highest good of all my Geminis out there, let's start. Let's find out, Gemini. What do you need to know at this time? What is it that you, you need to be aware of? What situation is coming in that you have no idea about that you need to know about right now? Let's see. Is there anything you should know? <laughs> what, what is going on, Spirit Guide? So we've got Flamingo Spirit. Embrace the in-between. Okay. Embrace the in-between. I'm not sure if that is currently what's happening to you now. Are you in a process of transformation? Or is there a process of transformation that is going to begin for you? That's going to make you feel like you kind of at pause. Or you kind of like just not really moving and you're between one thing and another thing like um not being really sure of which direction you're going in at this moment a little bit of confused energy so this could be coming in for you so let's see or it could be what you're currently experiencing whoa okay you're gonna know so if you are currently in a place where you're experiencing a bit of like i don't know if this is going to happen or that's going to happen. I don't know if um, something's going to work out in my favor or not work out in my favor. I am not so sure you're going to know. This is what you don't see coming. It does say time to go. I don't feel like this means you are leaving something. I'll be straight with you. I don't pick up this energy of eight of cups, you're walking away from something. I pick up this energy of it's time to do something. Time to go, time to go. It's like that kind of energy. Come, 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 come. It's time to get moving. It's time to get busy. That's what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on this energy of come. It's time to get up. Now go. You could be saying to yourself, wow, and maybe I always use an example of like employment, for example. I'll say like, you know, maybe you're looking for work. Um, and you put out so many different like CVs out there. You've got so many responses and you don't know which one is coming through. And then all of a sudden you're like, Oh, that one came. It's this one. And you're going. And now you go to work and you start working and it's time to go. You've got to get up early. You've got to get going. You're going to learn some new skills. And, um, I feel like that's the energy that I'm picking up on. Like a real bird. Yeah. Listen, literally. Look at this. You've got a beautiful reading, Gemini. Wow. Fire guardian. There it is. There's the energy of what I was talking about. That come, come. Let's go, go, go. Ignite that passion. There is something that is going to be shown to you. So if you're waiting, if you don't know what's going to happen, if you're not sure about the outcome, it is good or it wouldn't be igniting your passion. Okay, so I do feel as if you are going to move into quite a busy time. And whenever I see the fire guardian, it reminds me of the Knight of Wands. Um, very much inspired action that is going to take place. Very busy as well. Also can be Ace of Wands, that kind of energy of like, this is the moment that I'm going to get busy. This is so exciting. This is so inspiring. And I feel like you are moving into a new direction, Gemini, doing something that's very exciting for you. Congratulations. I think you're going to like this. Let's see what will come. Let's see more information, Spirit Guide, about what is coming in for my Geminis. And then we're going to read the energy under this deck as well. So give me more information. We have got the King of Swords. We've got the Empress. Okay, I'm hearing Spirit Guide saying a lot of thinking. 
This card is attached to a lot of thinking and also not a lot of movement coming up with the Empress. The Empress is kind of like sitting there birthing a baby. She's actually pregnant. And if you've ever had a child that is like the longest nine months of your entire life, um, yeah, you know what I mean? With the Empress coming in here, I kind of feel like with this King of Swords, you're doing a lot of thinking um, at this moment. Um, you, I don't feel like there's a lot of movement happening with these two energies, but a lot of thinking, a lot of wondering. And at the same time, you're kind of like just sitting back waiting to see something happen. So let's see what else comes here. There's a celebration. <laughs> and there is a money. Okay. A new beginning. Page of Wands. I mentioned the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, the Page of Wands under that Fire Guardian. So definitely this is an alignment. And you've got a King and Queen that has come up in your reading. So instead, I picked up a lot of like thinking in this energy. Um, sorry, a King of Wands. Sorry. Um, I pick up a, oh, and we've got the Fire Guardian rocking up here. I picked up a lot of thinking in this energy and not a lot of like movement. Okay. Um, you might be thinking about inspiration or what's inspiring you or your passion and you could be sitting there thinking um when am i going to get going i would say with the with i when i told you king of swords king of swords is thought but now that i picked up that it's actually a king of wands apologies gemini and um, the king of wands has got to do with that passion so you can think in lines of your passion what you want to do what you want to create um what you're trying to bring in your life that will make you feel very inspired very happy very excited but i felt like you're thinking you're sitting more down there thinking because of the empress that is coming next to it about what you're trying to create boom we've got celebration coming in fair give and take there's something here at this moment when it's time to go 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 okay that is going to cause you some kind of celebration if you say are looking for work um, and you're looking for maybe a promotion starting your own business or trying to get a, um, clients if you have your own business maybe you're trying to improve your career whatever you're trying to do or even um you know, buying a house, um, moving to a better place, buying a car, something that involves you improving your life and you just kind of like don't know where and what. Um, if you're looking to say like relocate, um, find a new place to stay, any of those kind of energies, I really see you hitting the jackpot here. The six of cup pentacles, my goodness gracious, that is um, money coming in. That is fair giving and taking. That is definitely something being handed to you that's causing you to celebrate. Okay, very nice energy. And then the beginning starts here where you actually have that new feeling coming in. That one's energy, we talk, I told you, it's that passion. Literally, it comes under the passion. Okay, I see like this new feeling coming in here. And I also pick up on a new direction you're going to be moving in. The Queen of Swords energy is a planning energy. It's planning for the future. But it's not just like thinking about when this is going to happen. It is actually planning and implementing. Planning and doing. So that's why this time to go feeling came up for me. So let's see where this is all going for you. Let's have a look and see. We've got the Moon card. Oh, it's going to money, Gemini. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Woo! We've got the King of Cups. So satisfied with your effort. We have the Lovers card. Gemini coming in your reading. Temperance with Sagittarius. And the Sun card. Whoa! Let me tell you something. You are heading to a place where this new start, you're celebrating for a reason. For a reason. I think you can see where it's going. I think you can see where it's going. And um, what I'm going to tell you, because I've seen what Spirit Guide has shown me, the moon card. What you don't know right now is that this shift is about to take place in the next couple of weeks for you. You're going to be very happy. But there's an unfolding after that that takes place, when that initial shift takes place, that's going to be unfolding over the next couple of months for you. The original shift into this energy and your celebration about what it is, a couple of weeks. And then... It's going to be moving month to month to month to month. And you are moving into some serious money. Okay, some serious prosperity, abundance that you do not yet see coming. So this path that you get put on here and this new direction and these ideas that you will be implementing in your life and in your career or in your business or in whatever you are doing, it is 
definitely the right direction for you to go in. It is definitely the right direction. Do not stop. Keep going. you got the Ten of Pentacles. Full abundance unfolding as you're moving forward. You are so satisfied here in your life. You're feeling, look how he's sitting there holding that glass of champagne, just sitting on his throne. Like, look at me. Look at what I've achieved. Look at where I've gotten my life to be. I just pick up satisfaction, satisfaction, so pleased, so happy with what you have done. Proud, comfortable. Oh man, this is so good. <laughs> Gemini. And we've got the lover's card coming in here. Yeah, I do feel, because we do have a three of cups and a lover's card, if you are in a relationship at all, or you have a family at all, this is beautiful for everybody. Everybody is feeling it. Everybody is happy. Everybody is joy, full of joy about what you are creating and how it is even affecting their lives. If this is not about a relationship and people around you, it's a happiness because you find yourself aligned with what is your truth. You find yourself aligned and on the right path of your life. Finally, you're there. And that's what brings out that satisfaction as well. The lover's card can also mean aligned with what is meant to be yours. It can be like a soulmate energy. Sometimes a soulmate is not a person. It's your life purpose. It's your journey. It's your story. And you're aligning with that and it's truth. That's what makes that King of Cups come out like that. It's so beautiful. You've got Temperance moving forward here. I see with the Temperance energy, you are being very careful, which I don't mind seeing. Um, a lot of things are coming and happening pretty quickly. That's what you need to be aware of. One thing I should tell you, a lot of things are happening very unexpectedly. So it's almost like if you get another job, it can be a bit busy or a lot of events happen and you've got to take care of them when they happen. Um, in your life as well, if this is a life reading for you or a business reading for you, it's unexpected events happen and not negative, just busy. That's why I got this energy of go, 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 go. You're going to be like so busy, you know? So whenever you are dealing with that, always have that temperance energy in mind. This is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is energy can be very impulsive. That's why you see her standing there pouring the tea very carefully into that teacup there. Don't just make an instant decision when you are doing things. Always stop, take a breath and think. Uh, think clearly. I think take on the Queen of Swords energy instead of just jumping in like boom, you know what I mean? Take on that Queen of Swords. When something comes up to you, become logical, become practical and look at it. Read the paperwork, do some research, think about it clearly. And then make your decision and you will grow and thrive in this life that you are building for yourself. And the growth is never ending because we've got the sun card coming in here. What an unbelievably amazing, beautiful energy. For some of you guys with the sun card being here, that could be you getting recognized for what you're doing. It could even be fame could be fortune. It could be um, getting established in what you're doing and becoming well known in your field. But that's growth. That is growth. But not only growth, it's also that happiness about what you are creating and how that makes you feel. That is so absolutely beautiful. Okay, Gemini, I love it so much. This is so good. And you don't see this coming into your life. Just know that that exists for you on your path moving forward. There we go. I will see you guys in your third week of August. General um, tarot reading where we're going to pick up on the energies for you at that third week and find out what it is you need to know at that time. Otherwise, I will see you then. Bye.